the oriented surfaces. Uh, in order to define the surface integral of vector fields, we need to uh, we need the definition of uh, oriented surfaces. Uh, for example, if we consider the flux uh, across the net in the river, and we need to the, we need to, to point uh, to point out which direction we uh, we choose. It's different uh, with the direction down here. Uh, down, down the river and uh, up the river. So we need to uh, point out which direction we, we choose uh, for the net. So uh, that's the definition and, or, and the concept of the oriented surfaces. Actually, um, for, uh, for this net, we have two directions. So um, this is called uh, two-sided, two-sided surfaces. Two-sided sur surfaces actually is oriented, orientable. We call that's orientable surfaces because it has two uh, for any. Uh, at any point, uh, it has two unit normal vector. That's the two set surfaces, and the uh, orientable surfaces, the uh, precess, the precess uh, definition for orientable surfaces that is uh, for each point, uh, for each point. On the surface is on the surface there exists uh, there exists mm, uh, that may be uh, the definition is there exists uh, vector a uh, unit vector fields a uh, unit vector field and such that np uh, perpendicular to the s for all p on the s So this is like, uh, this is surface as P for any point. There's there's an, an the unit unit vector field uh, perpendicular to the surface. But for some um, for two sided surfaces, it's all uh, it's always orientable, and for one sided. Surface. It's non orientable surface. For one such uh, surface, that's always non uh, non orientable surfaces. Uh, the most uh, famous the most famous famous example of that is uh, Mobius bench. We consider a rectangular paper that is A, B, C, D. Then a taste half a uh, taste half uh, taste half circle uh, that is. Uh, C passed to A, uh, C passed to B, and D passed to A. Uh, then we got
back out the modules bench. Then we fro start from one point and uh, and after we after we uh, uh, travel to the bands to, to the same point uh, if this is the long vector and here and here and to the same point it point to the uh, to the to the uh, next year the, to the uh, reverse direction so at the same point it has two uh, a uh, the, the same point corresponds to two vector field that is p to the np and uh, to the negative np so the vector field uh, is a function of any point it's a function so so it should be unique but for this one it has two uh, Two uh, one point corresponds to two vector fields, so that's not uh, orientable. So the one side surface are always non orientable, non orientable. So uh, now we can only consider uh, the orientable surfaces, and the orient oriented surfaces. That means the uh, uh, the surface is together with the choice of its normal vector. That is that is called its or, uh, oriented surface, and the n is called its uh, orientation. That is the choice of n. The choice of n is as orientation because for any uh, two-sided surface it has two orientation and in practical there's many uh, orientation we we can use uh, such that uh, upward downward inward outward uh, what does this mean Suppose suppose the uh, unit vector uh, unit vector field that is n as p x y z q x y z and uh, r x y z. What is upward? Upward means the z, the z uh, component is positive. The z component is positive, so r x y z is uh, positive upward, and downward that is. Downward, that is z component is less than zero, and the uh, rightward or towards to the right. That is a y component should be positive and the left word that is q x y z less than zero and forward that is the x component is greater than zero and backward that is p x y c less than zero 
and the last one is outward and uh, inward. That's for closed. That's for closed uh, uh, surfaces. Uh, and we call the outward for any closed surfaces. Maybe not. Uh, as uh, they always point outside, the normal vector is point outside. The long vector should be always point outside. And inward, that is n point inside. Uh, for closed, for, for closed uh, surfaces, uh, the natural choice the natural choice, the n should be uh, outward. The n should be outward, and, the, and, and this called uh, the positive orientation. Uh, for for open for open surfaces, we we can choose which is positive orientation, but for closed surfaces, n is always uh, choose to be out, outward should be always positive orientation, because we cannot see in, inside the surfaces. For example, if if you want to paint the surface closed surface, we we can only paint the outside. And that's the natural positive. Uh, the, the nature choice and uh, if it's inward we call it as negative orientation that's the, um, uh, the, that's uh, from the component uh, from the three components which was the word is upward, downward, and right, rightward, and leftward. That's the orientation. And for a practical, if the S uh, practical, if uh, if we do, if we have the uh, expression for S, then we know what is the N what is unit uh, normal vector the n should be choose a uh, uh, unit normal vector as unit as unit vector field so uh, if we have the expression for s then we can find out and figure out the and the norm and the unit normal vector field Uh, the first one of the s is, give, uh, is given by the graph z equals f x y then then the uh, upward uh, corresponds to n equals uh, negative f x negative f y and one and uh, over square root fx square plus fy square plus 1. Uh, by the tangent plane, uh, we already know what is tangent plane for the graph. And uh, for inward, that is n equals uh, f, uh, no, not inward, uh, downward. That's downward. As downward, that's fx, fy, negative 1, because it's negative, so it's uh, point uh, down. The reverse direction for 
uh, x uh, for z axis. That is f x square plus f y square plus one. And we always has if the s gives the x equals g uh, y z. Then the then we have the um, forward forward uh, that is g y uh, one g y g z over a negative negative square root one plus g y square plus g z square and uh, the backward. Backward as negative one g y g c over one plus g y square plus g c square, and uh, if uh, the surface is given by y equals h uh, x c, so we got and uh, the right word. Right word as n that's n a cos h x uh, one the y component is one h c square root uh, one plus h x square plus h c square and uh, for left word. N should be equal to uh, neg uh, no, that's negative H A negative as H H X negative one H Z over square root one plus H X square plus H Z square. That's for open surfaces. And if If I, uh, if the S is given by R equals R U R U V, then N should be equals positive or negative R U cross R V. Use the complaint and the, the, the signs for complaint. Um, to determine is inward, upward, or downward, and uh, to, for upward, downward, uh, forward, backwards, rightwards, and afterward. And for closed, for closed uh, surfaces, and uh, R equals R U V. The n should be always equals r u cross r v. That's the nature. That's the the nature choice for n. That's outward. That's the choice for. Uh, that's the choice for the orientation. Let's see uh, example. Mm, z equals x square plus y square. That is downward. Orientation. The downward or orientation that is n. The downward orientation that is uh, the z component should be uh, negative, and this is by uh, the surface is given by a graph, so the n should be equal 
f x f y and negative one f x that is 2 x f y is 2 y and c is negative one uh, uh, over over square root 1 plus f x square plus f y square as divided by 1 plus 4x square plus 4y square. That's the uh, downward orientation. Mm. Okay, let's just stop here. Uh, we uh, after we have the definition for line uh, for for surface integral uh, or vector fields, we have many uh, uh, we have many uh, time to to write down the and uh, uh, to compute uh, the n for for many directions.